Hey guys, it's me. I'm back with another video, but this time we're in a different place, different setting. This time I am going to be hemming, this time I am going to be hemming some pants. So let's do it. So if you remember, I got this pair of pants in my frock box unboxing video. So go watch that video if you haven't checked it out already. Basically, um, there's this clothing subscription service. So they sent me these pants. They fit great around the waist, but they are way, way, way too long. So basically, I'm going to do a quick fix on them just to shorten them up to the proper length from me, just using my sewing machine and some sewing supplies here. Um, it is like 9 o'clock at night, and I'm going to be wearing these pants tomorrow to work. And it's like no problem, quick, easy fix. The hardest part about hemming your own pants is just figuring out how short they need to be. So I'm gonna try them on, maybe bug Doug to help pin them up for me. Um, and then once I know the length that they need to be, I'll be right back. But before I get Doug to help, let me just show you the supplies that we're gonna need. So obviously, you're going to need your sewing machine. I just have my brother's sewing machine. I don't know. You'll also need some matching thread. So I have some blue thread. Pulled some green thread too, but definitely this navy blue thread I think will be the best. You might need some chalk. You might need um, one of these like hemming ruler dealios. I'm going to use a rotary cutter, which if you're left-handed and bad at using scissors, these things are amazing. Uh, you also need some bobbin thread, some pins, of course, and I like to have just a pair of snips so I can quickly snip my thread. So again, let me go throw on these pants and we'll see how long they are and how short they need to be. Be right back. All right, I got my pants on. I'm gonna put on a pair of shoes that I would wear with these pants, just so we can get the right length. And you can see there's a lot of excess fabric hanging down. So let's go find Doug. Got my pins with me. Let's see if he's available to help. Just so it doesn't quite touch the ground, like a centimeter off the ground. Hey, babe, thank you. Awesome, got what we needed. Now I'm gonna take my pants off. All right, isn't that fabulous? Okay. So I've taken off the pants now and I have one leg pinned to the right height. So let's take a look here. Look how much extra fabric that is. Oh, it's a lot. So I measured it and um, we're taking off about two and a half inches of length to get it to the right height. But we also need to make sure that we have enough fabric to like fold in on itself to actually like hem it. It looks like previously they had about an inch of seam allowance. So I'm going to move my ruler in one and a half and that is how much I'm going to actually cut off of my fabric so that I still have one inch to turn in on itself so that it ends up being the right height. So can take my pins out now, all done with those. And I've already moved my ruler to make sure I know exactly what I need to do here. So the next step is simply cutting off the excess amount of fabric, which again, if you're not sure about, maybe take a minute to remeasure everything out and make sure everything is exactly how you want it. Mark out with chalk all the way along the previous hem and then just chop it off.
Okay, good work. So now we have successfully chopped off the excess fabric. The next step will be making sure that this edge here is not going to fray anymore. So to do this, you could use a serger, you could use um, a zigzag stitch just around the edge. My sewing machine actually has um, like an overlocking type stitching pattern on it. I'm going to just sew a ring around each leg to ensure that the fabric isn't going to unravel. Stitch number six on my machine. So I actually had to switch feet on my machine, which is super easy. Uh, it tells me I need foot G just on the little control panel. So I can just quickly go in and switch my foot just like that so that I can use my overlocking stitch. The last thing I do before I get sewing is I just want to do a couple pins. Just to ensure when I'm sewing around the edge of the pant that this seam allowance is pushed in. So I'm just going to quickly pin it down in the direction that I want the fabric to lay. I can now just grab a pant leg, throw it on the machine, and go to town, just going around the outside of each pant leg just to stop it from fraying. Now that my pants are inside out, I am going to set my hammer to one inch. I'm gonna fold in my pants one inch and then pin it and press it flat like this all the way around the outside of my pants. All right, so now I'm just going to grab my iron and press it quickly so that it's nice and super flat on each bottom leg. And then we can run back to the sewing machine and sew it up. All right, so let's switch our foot back to just a normal stitching foot. And using just a regular straight stitch, sew along this upper edge of my pants, really close to that hemline. I would say about a quarter of an inch away from that hemline, all the way around the, both the pant legs, and we're done. All right, we are done. That was not hard at all, right? So now I'm gonna flip my pants back right side out, give them another press, and then we'll do the final try on. Give me two minutes. All right, and I just tried my pants on. Let's take a look at the length. Definitely looking way better now. There we go, hemming pants. How easy was that? Um, the hardest thing about hemming your pants is having someone pin it to the right length and then remembering to calculate however extra you want to fold in and then just pinning it takes forever. I use a lot of pins because I'm a novice sewer. Um, I'm not super confident with my straight line, so those extra pins just help with that, you know, security. So yeah, uh, saved what, 10 or 12 Canadian bucks compared to hemming them, getting them hemmed professionally, and yeah, I can customize them to whatever perfect length I feel like. So, win, win, win. I would highly recommend you try hemming your own pants. If you have access to your own sewing machine, it's super easy and super rewarding. So that is it for this video. Again, if you want to see my full frock box haul, which had these pants in them, 
check out my video up here. Aside from that, a huge shout out to my Patreons who help make these videos possible and help fuel my crazy creativity or whatever this channel is. Uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more beauty videos from me. Yes, sewing is a part of my beautiful aesthetic. So I will see you all in my next beauty video. Bye for now.